Today's verse is Matthew chapter 22 verse 39. Love your neighbors as yourself. Amen. Dear beloved brothers and sisters, God bless you all first. Amen. And yes, as we get into the verse, how many of us know what is love? A feeling towards someone? Liking something or attraction also is misunderstood as love in recent times, right? See, this is not what it is, beloved. It is something different. It is not what you feel for others. It is a feel even when they don't feel for you, but you still feel for them. Amen. This is our Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The real love, praise the Lord. See, the love of God created us. The love of God created Jesus to redeem us. The love of God made us to dwell with him in heaven along with him. Wow. Amen. First John chapter 3 verse 12 the Bible says do not be like Cain who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brothers were righteous. Amen. So dear beloved brothers and sisters, Cain lacked in love towards his brother to which he was led by the evil to be a murderer. Same way when there is lack of love, our action changes beloved. You still live in the sinful life. But whereas Abel, it's totally different. He's a loving boy. The Bible says he is righteous. So where there is love, there is righteousness, beloved. Now you may think, no, I'm, I'm short-tempered. I'm sometimes, I get angry due to situations and all those things, right? See, that's how the devil will play with your thoughts, beloved. So do not think in any place that you are unrighteous. The devil will you know, to try to create situation to make you feel that way, beloved friends. This one thing the scripture clearly says to us is something very important. Verse 12, the Bible says, Do not be like Cain who belonged to the evil. Amen. So it's it may it, it clearly says belonged, right? Which is past tense, which means finished, was no more, over, and still not. Amen. So even Cain has been forgiven through our father's love, beloved. Genesis chapter 4, verse 15, the Bible says, Whoever kills Cain will suffer seven times vengeance. That is our father, God, Heavenly Father's love. Amen. He still doesn't belong to the evil beloved. He is forgiven through Father's love. Amen. That is God's heavenly Father's love towards us. It is not what you feel for others. It is a feel even when they don't feel for you, you still feel for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So when Cain can be forgiven, why can't you and me beloved? This is God's love. Believe you are righteous through Christ. Verse 14 clearly says that we know that we have passed from death to, to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. So which means through Jesus the love we are no more in death but have life like Jesus raised from the dead. We also raise along with him through his love there is life beloved. Verse 16 says that this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us and we owe to lay down our life to our brothers and sisters amen so that you may live in Christ beloved verse 18 clearly says dear children let us not love with words or with speech but with action in truth amen so now you know which is real feelings which is real love which is real care right it is not just like you know getting attracted or attraction not just to feel love is Jesus as the verse says love your neighbors as yourself Amen. How you respect yourself, respect your neighbors. How you care for yourself, care for your neighbors. Don't want heart rate, beloved. Come out of angry, angry mindset. A stubborn heart, you know, disturbs our Lord, Heavenly Father. The scripture says that. Amen. So you, you, you care for you, right? Same way, care for others. Love them. Love them wholeheartedly like how your father loved you. And your father still loves you. That's the reason you are still righteous in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So through love, there is life, beloved. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you, my master, for this beautiful day that you have given us, Lord. Lord, we truly believe, Lord Jesus, your love is in us, Lord Jesus. And through your love, we are saved and we are righteous, Lord. The devil doesn't ask the authority anymore, my master, to play with our minds and souls, Lord Jesus. And to disturb us, Lord Jesus, because your love is bigger, my master. Yes, Jesus, we will love our neighbors, Lord. We will forgive us how you forgive us, my master. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us, guiding us and guiding us and leading us into the right path of righteousness for your glory, heavenly God. Thank you, my master, for giving us, Jesus, your only beloved son, to save us, to heal us, to lead us, to redeem us, and finally filling us with your spirit, God, heavenly Father. We believe in you with faith that this day is a blessed day for your glory, my master. Jesus, in your mighty name, we ask this prayer. Amen. God bless you.